Alright, so welcome back to MNT Gaming Clash Royale. Um, when I get one of these quests, <laughs> this says something like play cheap. I believe the purpose of this one is to play troop cards that cost two elixir or less 50 times in 1v1 battle. So what I have been doing is coming up with decks that use as many of those. See, and I still missed a whole bunch. Uh, but I try to incorporate as many of those cards as I can into my deck in order to complete the challenge as quickly as possible. See, I missed three right off the top. I should have incorporated those ones. I probably could have done it in two battles rather than three, but I want to go over the battles with you guys because I think they're fairly entertaining. All right. And I'm sure people, you know, once they see what's going on, uh, they know exactly what the score is. So this guy's running a golem deck with his... I think he actually leads with that, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm like, oh, I'll go with the giant. And he's like, oh, I'll go with my golem. And he's got the executioner in the back there, which would have done very well for him. But he just kind of sat on it. I'm not sure why. So I went ahead and I pushed with my fire guys and my ice golem in order to to counter if he had something running behind that golem. <laughs> um, poor guy starts taking a hit right away. And then of course he th throws down his little skeleton army. Up goes my level 12 Tesla. His Electro Wizard. I think I actually do take a few hits here. The only thing I was concerned about is he's got that minion horde. I should have had maybe a zap, or the spear goblins would have been helpful there, I think. So I do take a little bit of a beating there. But I have one of his towers down to 495. He's got me at 1408. He's got a bit of an elixir lead as well. But he's running a mirror card, which I think ultimately is what his failure is. <clears throat> so I go ahead and I run with a, another giant push. Followed with some skeletons and my fire spirits. And then on the left side, in order to kill that off, I've got some little bats. As well as some regular regular old goblins. He zaps all of that. But now my giant's taking a pounding away at his king tower. Hooray! And I'm down to 315. I think I just throw it out with my ice golem. And then, of course, this is where it, like I said before, gets a little bit finicky because that's the one thing he should have just continued to run with. And he did there. I counter with bats. Another ice golem. He's got his electro wizard there that I go ahead and kill off, I think. But now his executioner is doing some work at keeping the damage lower. But he does actually try to go with another push, I believe, with his golem. And this time he's trying for the right side tower. I distract the executioner with my dearest giant. Once he's in there taking the damage from the princess tower, the rest of my troops catch up. And I manage to get a second tower off of him. And I follow up with a whole bunch more <laughs> of my play one cards. That got me, I believe, 49? 49 or 52? I can't remember. <laughs> Entertaining, to say the least. Uh, now, let's watch... Let's see. The next one, I did this in three. I usually, like I said, try and do it in as minute, minimum number of... battles as possible. MX Legends Jr. I don't know what this guy's name is. Oh, that's right. He's running with a... I really can't stand this deck. Partially because I, I don't like the mortar. I have a hard time countering a mortar. I suppose I should have just started... Uh, using the lightning against it. But I start taking some damage right off the bat. There's the lightning. I think I'm lightning the, the tower. That was the 
whole point there. I was hoping to get rid of that archer. Or the princess, rather. <clears throat> no? Ah, that's, that's how I started countering it. I started throwing down my Tesla tower right up the edge there in order to kill it as soon as it's dropped because it does actually work as a valid counter and gives you a little bit of an elixir advantage if you can keep it alive obviously so we're about even on elixir and you know he's going to go with the princess knight combo hand in the pot but my giant manages to get in there and get some good damage in good giant No. There's the lightning in order to actually run a counter on that. Ice spirits. Get my own little bats in there to try and get rid of that thing. He missed one. It got a free shot off. Hooray! But then with the two or less elixir cards, you can actually do a pretty quick push right away. Which I think puts him at a disadvantage. <laughs> Because, of course, now I'm much further ahead. That complemented with my lightning in order to counter that. And I think I'm set. Fire spirits in order to get rid of those guys. A little ice golem to take some damage and slow that down. And away we go. And then I think I threw down my Tesla. Huzzah! What's Fifty-four damage remaining. Not anymore. Fire spirits versus knight. Plus one shot. Move of desperation. Gonna throw a rock at your stuff. Not gonna happen. And then of course I just start spamming him with the two V cards. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was actually gonna work to my advantage. I should have got like probably one extra card there. So at this point, I had three cards that I needed to play in order to complete the challenge. There's two victories. Hooray! And last but not least, Fangblade. This is the last one. I don't normally run this deck, nor will I continue to run this deck. And this is a spammer. He's just like, wow, and crying. and So I played. I was like, oops. I really don't understand that, and I find it very, very frustrating when people just spam, like, wow, and oops, and good game, and oh, well played. I've played two cards, man. Relax. I'm not sure what he's doing. And you can see how this is going to go. I mean, nobody's really going to be getting the significant advantage at this point. Uh, and I'm fairly certain that he does have a log. I think so, anyways. At least I thought he had log. <sighs> well played. Well, again, I didn't do anything. And he's cycling through his deck and watching the replay. It's just super annoying. See, that was a good move. He threw the Pika down in order to block for the princess. It's a nice move. Totally valid. Now she locks on, I throw down some bats, done. So the little cards are certainly doing what they're supposed to do. Ice Golem. I meant to actually drop that on the other side so he was going in the other direction, but it did work in my advantage. And there's the log I spoke of. But I do manage to get rid of that Mega Knight, which makes me happy. Stop, why are you spamming? Just choose a card, man. It's not that difficult. I'm like, I'm going to play this. and I don't know. So the level 10s obviously do what they're supposed to. Should have had a zap or something. But that's not the goal. The goal wasn't necessarily to win. The goal was to spend as, as many of these two elixir cards as I possibly could. Wow. Why are you wowing me? 
Now, as soon as that's locked on, I was like, okay, I can probably time that. But then the Mega Knight came down. It made me very, very sad. But I did manage to distract the Mega Knight. And the little mini, mini Pekka at the same time. Uh, and my Tesla came down just in time. Followed up by another Ice Golem. <laughs> and at this point, he's probably getting very, very frustrated. There's my giant to distract the Mega Knight, and he's thinking, oh, well, I've got this in the bag. But as it turns out, not so much. And like I said, this one does end up being a tie, but still. <laughs> now he's just getting frustrated, and rightfully so. I I was hoping I'd be able to get one last little push in there, and he figured that was it. He's like, oh no, I'm done. I'm going to win. But then there was the ice golem again. Popped all of those. <laughs> he just wasn't able to make it through. Now his mini pack I did actually connect and did a very good job there. Ten seconds left. He's not going to be able to cycle through to that rocket, which is what he should have been doing, I think, in all along. And there you have it. That's how I've been dealing with the uh, challenges. Because I don't normally have these kinds of decks. Now, I'll try and update these and show you guys uh, what I do for the next challenge, which is in 21 hours and 32 minutes. In any instance, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.